Hi, I'm Edward Davis. I'm the Fossil Collections Manager for the Museum of Natural and Cultural History here at the University of Oregon. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about ichthyosaurs. That's an animal that uh, was a swimming reptile. It would have looked a lot like a whale. Uh, a lot of people want to know where the dinosaurs are in our museum. Dinosaurs all lived on land, and so we don't have any of the right kinds of habitat preserved in the Oregon fossil record to capture dinosaurs. This fossil is part of an ichthyosaur found in the Wallawa Mountains in eastern Oregon. It dates from the uh, early part of the Triassic, the early part of the age of dinosaurs, the Triassic, about 230 million years ago. That's because during the time of the dinosaurs in the Mesozoic, between 250 and 65 million years ago, most of the area that's now Oregon was underwater. And what we see here are one, two, three, four vertebrae from its backbone, and they're relatively close to the position they would have had when the animal was alive. Ichthyosaurs look a lot like dinosaurs, but they're from a different part of the evolutionary tree of reptiles. And we can tell that because we can look at the way that their bones, especially their hip bones and their skull bones, uh, grow and see that they have a different ancestry than dinosaurs. One of the interesting things we can see is that the bones are actually preserved with a lot of iron replacing the original minerals, and that's what makes them have this black color. So they wouldn't have been black when they were alive, they would have been white bones like animals have today, but the fossilization process has colored them black. What's awesome about these specimens is that they're the oldest bones in Oregon. They're 230 million years old. There are no older vertebrate fossils in Oregon.